Uh, in this, we are going to handle what we call uh, termination of a contract or discharge of a contract. So a contract is discharged in around four ways. The first way is by performance, two, by agreement, three, by breach, four, by frustration. So four ways terminate or discharge a contract. Performance, frustration, breach, agreement. So I'll begin with performance. Performance is very explicit, explained, or it is very simple. When we enter into a contract and I'm supposed to supply 10 bunches of banana and you have to give me 20,000. When I supply the 20,000 and you give me the... When I supply the bananas, you give me the 20,000. We have all performed our part of the bargain. Then and then the contract ceases to exist. So performance or breach of a... I mean discharge of a contract by performance. This is where now both parties have performed. But how do you perform? You must fully perform your part of the bargain. Not badly or not partly. So perform your part of the bargain fully in order for it to be uh, discharged by performance. Then the second type of uh, discharge of a contract other than by performance is by agreement. So you realize that by provisions of uh, section 51, 52, section 67 of the Contracts Act, uh, an agreement can end a contract, not by performance but by agreement. The results a common law doctrine or a common law principle that is known as the OEDM model dissolvatur principle that people or parties can enter into an agreement and end their contract. So the principle of OEDM model dissolvatur gives the parties to a contract to enter into agreements in order to terminate or discharge their contracts. This is non performance. We can enter into a contract where uh, I say, Stuart, you're going to supply. Or they tell me supply 10, uh, 10, uh, 10, 10, okay, let me say 10 bunches of matoke again. Uh, you're going to give me 20,000. But as a result of performing, maybe I get a problem. Then the other person says, okay, you just give me three bunches of matoke, you leave the rest. So we enter into an agreement. So where both parties enter into an agreement, before even the lapse of the time of performing, you can always terminate the contract. Before the time has ended, before fully the contract is performed, it can be or it can amount to what we call termination of a contract by agreement or the plea of or the model dissolver tool. Then the other way of terminating a contract is by frustration. So what is frustration? Frustration, this is where something that you didn't think of has occurred and has stopped people from performing their part of the contract. These are eventualities that occur after you've entered into a contract, which you didn't think of, but later they stop you to perform the contract. Uh, this has been seen in various cases, such as Taylor versus Cardwell, among others, even the case of Coltria versus Hasty. Frustration, these are events that occur, which stop the party from performing. Not that he's not willing to perform, but because of something that is beyond his control, it will stop you from performing. That's why even we have uh, the common law doctrine or the common law principle of uh, of uh, non hake in Fodera Veni, the principle of non hake in Fodera Veni, that Latin principle of non hake in Fodera Veni, is clear that it was not what I intended to do. It is because something occurred that stopped me from doing you fail to perform not because it is what you wanted to or you failed to, but something occurred that stopped you from performing. For example, we had an example of COVID-19, uh, an outbreak of a disease that stops you from performing. For example, if they tell you that you go and get gold and gold is in Mubende, but while in Mubende, Ebola breaks down and they say no one should leave Mubende. You realize, so you, if the day of when, when you had to perform, it's 10 20th and they declare 19 that that can be an uh, a, a frustrating event why it is beyond your control there was what we call an outbreak of a serious disease and government intervention the other one can be a, a outbreak of war which will stop you from performing so there are various many kinds of uh, uh, frustrating events that can stop someone from performing you can also look at provisions of Section 8 uh, of the Sale of Goods and Supply of Services Act 
of 2017 in regards to frustration. Then the other way of uh, terminating a contract uh, is by uh, by uh, uh, is by uh, is by other than breach, frustration, performance. Actually, is by breach. I had not talked about breach. So the other way of terminating a contract is by breach. What is a breach? A breach. This is where you fail to perform your duty, your obligation. You have a duty, but you don't perform it. For example, if I tell you that you supply to me. 10 bananas or 10 bunches of matoke on the 10th day. I pay you. Now, when I pay you, I wait the 10th day. You don't pay or you don't deliver your products. Then that is a breach. So when you breach, I have a right to terminate the contract and seek for the various remedies. So basically, a breach arises where the party to the contract fails to perform their side of the bargain. So there are various remedies that arise where there is a discharge of a contract. The first one, or we can call, or we can term them into two, common law remedies and the equitable remedies. So the common law remedies, we have what we call damages. You can seek for damages. I will not go much into it. Rescission, resigned, uh, injunction, stopping, uh, uh, damages, interest, among others. So basically that is what we call uh, contracts in Uganda. Thank you.